welcome to Antigua, Guatemala. Now for those of you who've been watching my videos for some time, this probably comes as a big surprise because I've been in Mexico for the last six months. And Mexico is actually the reason I'm here in Guatemala right now. You see, when we arrived in Mexico, we had passport stamps for 180 days. And those 180 days are up already. But don't worry guys, we're gonna be back in Mexico very soon. But to continue our stay in Mexico, we had to leave the country and then re-enter and get new stamps on our passports. So that's why we're doing a quick visit to Guatemala. And I can't think of any better place to be in than Antigua because this town is absolutely beautiful. It's surrounded by volcanoes. So any direction you look in is just really breathtaking. Uh, and we can't wait to tell you more about Guatemala. Yeah, let's, let's start our journey. Eight hundred years. Juicy. <laughs> now that is one old church. Very old. Eight hundred years old. Incredible. Uh -huh. <laughs> So we've just entered into the main walking street of Antigua. The big yellow arch up front is definitely one of the uh, most noticeable landmarks of the city. different crafts and souvenirs you can buy in Guatemala. My personal recommendation would be to buy some coffee. The coffee here is delicious, it's strong. A bit too strong for Nari, I think. <laughs> she felt kind of high after having her first cup today. Yeah, she felt like that guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I was hey? shaking out. Oh my god. After spending some time in the south of Mexico, I think it's impossible not to notice the similarities between a place like this and, for example, Oaxaca. And it's not just a coincidence. I mean, both Guatemala and Mexico uh, have heavy indigenous traditions. They have the same indigenous people, uh, which is why you see the similar style of artwork and crafts, and of course, the Spanish colonial buildings. So this time of year, it's really common to have rain in the afternoons in Guatemala, in Antigua specifically, uh, which is why I wore a sweater. Nari's got an umbrella. But right now, it's nice and warm. It's a beautiful day. Do you guys see where the water is coming from? I don't know if that's appropriate for YouTube or not. Look at that, eh? Nice, very nice building behind us. So I have a little secret to tell you guys. I have actually been to Antigua once before. It was seven years ago. I was 20 years old. And it was my first big travel trip like that ever. Uh, it was a trip with my school, so there was like a class of students that I was with, and we ended that trip in Antigua, Guatemala, 
And in some ways this city ignited my passion for travel because I was walking around these old streets and these cobblestones and seeing the beautiful architecture and I'd never seen something like that before. So this place has a really special feeling to me in my heart. And I think it's getting a bit more touristic than when I was last here. That's the only big difference I notice. Uh, I see a couple of Taco Bells and Burger Kings and stuff <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't recognize last time. So guys, we just got recommended a really local market. And that's where we're taking you now. Hopefully we can find some delicious food. This isn't so good for my video guys. As I mentioned, it rains a lot in the afternoons this time of year. And that is exactly what's happening right now. So we're gonna try to find some place dry to get some food. I hope we can find one. <laughs> Umbrella to the rescue! Well, there's a lot of tourists outside, but I think we're the only ones in here. <laughs> I think we found someplace local. Like a consomme. Guatemala and tortillas. Food is here. Guys, it's like pomelo sauce. Yeah. With rice <laughs> and some meat, potato. You don't see many music players like that anymore. you guys are wondering, those two meals cost 50 quetzales. Quetzales is the name of the Guatemalan currency. And uh, yeah, not too bad for everything that we got. The good news is the rain has stopped. Do you want to go that way? Okay guys, the afternoon rain is back. The sweater is back. Which means there's only one thing left to do today. So as you guys know, I always have videos to edit and other stuff to do. Nari has her own work to do. So sometimes on a rainy day, there's nothing better than uh, finding a cool coffee shop and hanging out for a couple hours.
good, huh? <laughs> See you next time, guys.